What's up, people? In today's video, we're going to teach you how you can still make money dropshipping while stuck in winter storm and have nowhere else to go. Look, we're going to be talking out here once we get to the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. If we get to the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> if. There's like a solid six inches of snow and we got to drive like, I don't know, two or three miles through it up and down hills. And but we're going to be talking about TikTok ads. And I did a, a questionnaire on my story asking what we should talk about. So we're going to have some good Q&As for you guys. Stick That's with perfect. us. Let's and pray, pray that we get to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> All right, guys, quick update. We're getting the chains off. We made it down, but thought we record a couple questions here. Do you prefer TikTok ads or Facebook ads? Well, clearly right now I prefer TikTok ads, uh, mainly because the reason I say clearly, because if you go on my YouTube, it's kind of like, like I've only been talking about TikTok ads and that's where 100% of our focus has been. Um, and the reason I would say is because we were having a lot of issues with Facebook. Um, I don't know if you know who I am or what I do, but I own a marketing agency. So we manage a ton of accounts. So we were basically cycling ad accounts and getting banned like every day. Like literally our ad buyers were buying new ad accounts or new Facebook profiles every single day. It got really, really expensive and really difficult to do. So we kind of transitioned to TikTok. And I don't know if this happened to you, but once we transitioned to TikTok, like our blew up. Yeah, for like, sure. The results, in terms of like success rate when testing uh, Facebook versus TikTok, it's literally like triple as good on TikTok. Yep. And it's probably a mix of the CPMs, new platform, less competition, whatever it is. Um, but we kind of just saw the results and we we're like, it, we're going all in. Like Absolutely. this is this is like the biggest opportunity since you know 2016, 2017 Facebook ads um, when we first got started with it. So. Um, we pretty much just put our, all of our focus there and I think it's been paying off pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, like I think the last time we talked about it, TikTok is very similar to how uh, Facebook was in 2016. Like you said, less competition. Also, you have to, a lot of people don't know that, but you, if you're like in certain countries, it's kind of hard to open an account if you're, you know, unless you go around the rules, yeah, use VPN. We got, we got over that quick. <laughs> we got over that quick, but a lot of people don't still know that. So people yeah. still, I get a lot of messages be like, hey, I'm let's say in Bulgaria and I can't run ads, what do I do? They don't know that, that you can get around it. But so because of that, like compared to Facebook that you can run literally ads from anywhere. So there's more competition. Then you come to TikTok, and there's literally like as not as much competition compared to Facebook. So it's so much yeah. more profitable, easier to find a winning product, less bans. You don't, you barely ever get bans. So it's kind of cool. Um, I have when another. When you do, when you do get banned, the TikTok support is pretty fast. They're like, pretty good. Yeah. I've literally had them take a screenshot of our website yeah. and circle the things that we did wrong and be like, fix this and we'll re-enable you, which like blew my fucking mind because I saw you know, on Facebook, you can get banned for the dumbest reason. Yeah. And like, they'll they'll just be like, screw you, and copy and paste message, just like, you know. They don't even answer. Yeah, there's like, no real support there, with, whereas with TikTok there is, which is really helpful. Absolutely. And literally our third client was in India. Nice. Our third TikTok ads client was in India, which TikTok is like completely banned in India. Yeah. Um, even as a user, never mind an advertiser. So there are ways around it. Um, but yeah, TikTok ads is definitely way better than Facebook in my opinion right now. It doesn't mean that Facebook isn't a great opportunity. Yeah. If anything, I think a lot of people like us, like the, the big players are switching yeah. just because like Facebook is so screwed yeah. um, and TikTok is also a great opportunity. So there might be more opportunity on Facebook. There could you know? be. I mean, absolutely. You still can use Facebook. It's just the matter of like how much money do you want to spend on getting an agency account? Like if you want to get a decent like agency account, it's going to cost you anything between like four or 5,000 to 10,000. Like someone that is getting started, they don't have that kind of money to get that kind of support because you get a rep, you get out everything, but you can't just tell people that you're, let's say, signing up for the agency. Be like, hey, can you pay $10,000 to get an, you know, like highly like that you don't get banned and pay 10,000 to get an agency account. Yeah. So yeah, that's one thing. So what are you doing in this uh, winter storm? <laughs> Well, we're about to go snowboarding. I've never been snowboarding before, um, but I'm fresh out of Arizona. Beautiful weather. Like, go outside with your shirt off in the morning, drink a nice coffee or something. And then we, and then Nas drags me out here to this mess, which it's actually really, really beautiful. You it's see, so pretty. Like, you should show them over here. Yeah, look at this view. I'm gonna put our cabin. We just left our cabin because if we stayed a little bit longer, we already. I was on a call and my god, my call got disconnected because it it just got literally we got snowed on and he got disconnected so we're moving we're gonna probably stay in a hotel not in the mountain but look at the mountains here 
until we can figure out when we can, if we can fly out or not, we'll figure it out, you know? Yeah, so we're just gonna go snowboarding. We did yeah. indoor skydiving yesterday. My yeah. body is like really dead. We've had such an active trip. I love it. Like I love going to trips and being super active. And we're gonna go snowboarding now. Your leg is gonna be burning tomorrow. That's gonna be great. All right, we'll be back with the next question in a second. Whew. All right, so last minute, we got this place. How are you feeling? I'm good. It's yeah. nice. I don't want to leave. Yeah, there we go. Now we went from being stuck in the snow, no internet, getting my calls cut off, to actually getting down the mountains and getting a hotel room because, you know, we got stuck. All right, guys, we survived the snow and we're going snowboarding. So let's go. We made it down here, checked into a hotel, got out of our cabin. We were kind of stuck in the mountain. How do you yep. feel about that? We're finally safe at a beautiful resort. It's a beautiful resort here in Salt Lake City. No, just kidding. Park City. Park City. Uh, Park City. Okay, but let's get to the next question that I have for you. Uh, I heard you're writing an ebook. book yes. uh, Can you tell us more about it? All right, so I am indeed writing an ebook, and basically all I wanted to do was give give people like basically written like step by step on how to follow my strategies because obviously like I made a lot of different videos and people get confused and whatnot. So it really just is uh, like 20 pages long, walking you through how to go from having absolutely nothing to over a thousand dollars per day in sales. So you know, product research, building your store, uh, getting your ad creatives, uh, launching your test campaign. Uh, doing the initial, you know, analyzing, determining if it's a winner or a loser, um, and then doing the initial scaling as well to actually, you know, surpass the thousand dollars per day. And I'm super excited that we just filmed the video, uh, which is going to be on my channel soon if it's not yet. Go check um, it out. Where I kind of got her take on, you know, how she would go about going from nothing to a thousand per day. So I think it's just a really cool concept, especially because uh, I'm cold as hell. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like, really cold. It's like 20 degrees out it's here. It's not even 20, it's 10. 10, all right. Okay. Keep but, going. Uh, it's, it's a really cool concept because TikTok is, you know, it has pretty high testing success rates um, and you can get to a thousand per day really, really fast. Definitely. Um, like usually when we find a winning product, we'll get to a thousand a day, like literally in three to four days and we're not even being aggressive. Like yeah. I know your scaling strategy is way more aggressive than ours. Yeah, 24 hours. we got to get to like a yeah, thousand like or two thousand. You'll get to like 8K a day in four days. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, we work with a lot of beginners and it's hard to recommend people to scale from zero to a thousand a day and spend days yeah so absolutely. if i had the chance i would yeah. and i actually have scaled the store really really fast on tiktok before um, so it, it would definitely be interesting to go through scaling strategies and stuff got it because um, okay. my scaling strategy right now is really, really basic uh, but it works really really well as long as it works you know everybody's different everybody needs different things so uh when is your ebook coming out uh, my ebook, I just got the finished copy back, so I was, I was supposed to release it earlier this week, but obviously, we've been running around Utah, skydiving, <laughs> and snowboarding, and being cold. Bad influence. Yeah. And, and I'm getting no into all the bad stuff. But I'm probably going to release it, like, early next week. Awesome. Next week. By the time I release this video, your uh, ebook will also be out. Uh, I probably wouldn't be surprised if you have YouTube ads on, if you'll see my ad right before this video or yeah, during this video. Yeah, you probably will. That's actually how we met, remember? Yeah. I'm yeah. actually... I'm also doing a really cool challenge where like the first person that finds a winning product using the ebook, um, I will be giving them free mentorship for at least a month of the scale and then I'm going to make a case study out of it. Oh, that's amazing. That'll be fun as hell and I'm super excited for that. Oh, that's actually really exciting. So guys, make sure you download the ebook and make that, fi make that, and find that winning product because yeah. he's going to help you himself scale that product. Yeah, because I want to motivate people to take action and actually follow the strategies and, um, and I feel like it's good motivation for you to actually read it and do it and then if you see success uh, you'll get that bonus of like working with me one-on-one -on -one and I'll help you scale it you know to some pretty good numbers <laughs> all right cool guys I put all the information about the ebook down below I have two more questions for you uh, what's your favorite thing about TikTok ads compared to Facebook ads uh, you're probably gonna hate me for saying this but I think genuinely my favorite thing is the ease of doing it at yep. scale because testing products on Facebook at scale is a nightmare mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm talking about like 50 to 100 products a week. That's usually what we do. Um, and it, yeah, it's just terrible on Facebook. And on TikTok, it's so much easier because if you get banned, you just reach out to support. So that's pretty much my favorite part. Obviously, mix that with the fact that it's a new platform. There's so much to learn. Um, 
the strategies that you can implement are literally endless. Like, I, I, I noticed Facebook was really sensitive with like what you can do and when you do it and how you do it. Whereas with TikTok, you can kind of, you know, I don't want to say willy nilly it, but like yeah. you can pretty much do whatever you want. As, lo as long as your product and your ad is good, it'll work. Would you say their support reps are more responsive oh, compared God. to Facebook? They're, they, you mean they ha actually have support reps? They actually reps? have support <laughs> reps and answer. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably my favorite part, and that's probably why I've invested so much time and money into TikTok over the past, you know, six months, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, six to eight months I started, so. Yeah, T TikTok is definitely um, becoming more popular. Um, you know, especially if you're just getting started. We were talking earlier that how on Facebook it was hard for people to scale, you know, they would find a winning product but they would get banned, something would yep. happen and they would not be able to get yeah. to the next level. With TikTok, it barely happens. And if it happens, uh, the refs are so responsive, they tell you what exactly um, your ad, what's wrong with your ads or something yeah. that is like, wrong exactly. with your Exactly, like they will literally tell you, fix this and then we will re-enable you and then they actually will. So it's, a, it's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I need a breath of warm air right now. <laughs> Alright guys, our cameraman just lost four fingers, so we had to come back in. Um, it's a little bit warmer. It's really cold. It's really cold outside. Uh, so the next question is, what's the best way, in your opinion, to test products with TikTok ads? Okay, so for you guys that just want to watch this video and leave and get no value, quick answer, quickly. Like, get in, get out. So, but to break it down further, um, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through my testing strategy to you know, give you a gauge, but obviously it's going to be hard to explain, you know, when we're talking, sitting here in a pool room. So basically what we do is we do one campaign, um, five different ad groups, and then we do usually one to three ads under that ad group. It depends honestly on how many creatives we can put together, because um, I know that you film your own creatives, we don't, we get them, you know, we basically source them from the internet. So um, if there's a bunch of them, we'll do like three creatives, that's kind of like the sweet spot for us. Um, and then for the ad group, you know, data, we basically do $20 per day. We do lowest cost bidding. Um, and then we keep uh, targeting completely open. So we don't mess with genders, Same. ages. We don't mess with uh, even bidding. We're doing low, lowest cost. Um, so we're not doing manual bidding during the testing phase at all. And that's the basic structure, like no interest, nothing. Um, and we literally let it run for like a half a day to a day. Um, usually we'll let it run for a full day if we're just lazy and we don't want to check it early on. Um, but honestly, half a day is enough time, like $50. Um, it'll spend 100 bucks on the first day, but if it's not like breaking even or profitable in the first 50 bucks, then you can buy. Yeah, you know if it's a winner or not. And sometimes if it's if it's just breaking even, but it's not super, uh, like it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, maybe we'll launch new creatives. But like I said, we don't go too far down the rabbit hole because you can like lose a lot of money just you know, getting married to a product and trying to make it work. So you test only with ABO, not CBO at all? Or? Yeah, we haven't messed with CBOs at all. Got it. Even with scaling? Even with scaling, um, we did mess with CBOs as a part of our split test. Mm -hmm. So we kind of split tested uh, CBO and ABO, and there's also one other that is uh, dynamic ads or something yeah. like that. We split tested those. Those work really well. I think they're called ACO. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got too many, too many so damn many. acronyms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like adaptive creative or something. Got it. Okay. So we split tested a lot of different things. Um, we actually had a lot of spending issues with CBOs. Um, and also, when part of my scaling strategy is a very similar scaling strategy to what we did with CBOs on Facebook, um, but except for taking the top five and putting it into a new campaign, we take the top one and just do that one at a hundred dollar per day budget. So it. it's very, very similar, but we don't really see a point in doing CBOs. Got it, okay. I know if, if a product is supposed to be a winning product, pretty much ABO works. Yeah, pretty CBO, much anything is gonna work. It <laughs> works, it yeah. works. But one thing that I've seen success with, I, I still with CBO and ABO, CBO can be really good if the winning product is strong. Actually, the cost per acquisition could be pretty yeah, what, cheap. What budget are you doing on a CBO? Uh, I start from 150 five ad groups, kind of very similar to Facebook, yeah, and they kind well. of go up, like 500 if it go, that does really well, that's kind of how yeah. I go high, $500 a day, and then I go to $1,000 on CBO. If it's supposed to work, it works really well, but if it's not supposed to work, it's just really bad. Yeah. So that's kind of what I learned with TikTok. So ABO definitely is a safe way to go about it. Um, I guess that's it for today. Uh, we're going to wrap up this video. I'm going to put all the information his YouTube video, ebook, everything 
down below, so go check it out. Uh, he has a very unique way of doing things. He, he is mostly doing a uh, one product store, so it's a little bit different from my method. A little bit but, different. Yep, just different. Not that one is better than the other, just different. And um, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Anything else that you want to say? Uh, yeah, you're not actually going to be able to link the ebook in the description for like another two weeks. Oh. So I'm only launching it with ads, so you're going to have to see the advertisement. And you're going to see the advertisement. Of course, the reason I'm doing that is for optimization, right? Because okay. I need everybody to, everybody that sees the ad has to go get it. Um, <laughs> and if you want to be a part of it, then I think it's fair. But after a couple weeks, we'll go ahead and link it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck, I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <just> <laughs>